Hey! Today we're going to look at how to build a custom applet on IF just for your personal use. When you're logged in, under your username, select New Applet. If this, then that. Those are our building blocks. So let's pick our this. We're looking for the trigger that's going to tell our applet when to run. Let's use Twitter. We need to connect the Twitter service and let it know we're going to use it with if. I'm already logged into Twitter, so I just have to give if permission. Twitter can do a ton of things with if, so we have a choice of triggers. Let's pick new tweet from search. Maybe there's a big tech conference happening and we want to capture all the cool tweets and links being shared on the hashtag. Now we need to pick our that. When our this happens and there's new content with that hashtag, what do we want to happen? Let's get an email. Actually, let's get a weekly email digest so we can bundle up all those tweets. Now we just want to finish off the details. Let's get the digest later in the day so we can read it after work. Everything else looks good. The ingredients here are the specific things we'll be capturing. It looks like we'll get all the tweet details. Next, we review our applet, and if we're satisfied, we hit finish. Great, it's live, and we'll start to gather up those tweets for us. We can see it sitting happily under my applets. Let's say, later on, we want to change something about it we can click the gear icon in the top right to reconfigure. Maybe we decide Wednesday is a better time to get those updates, a really simple change. We can update the description to reflect the new day. Hit save and we're good to go. Now you're ready to experiment and make your own custom applet. If you're not into DIYing, that's totally okay. You can find tons of applets ready to turn on by browsing if.com and the if app. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more short tutorials straight from IFTHQ. See you next time, and thanks for ifting.